It's just a very special tree. Sophia Walsh picked this tree for her backyard as a child. Now it blooms in her memory. I always think of her. In August 2021, the 24-year-old took a sip from what she thought was just a regular water bottle and instantly died from fentanyl. Our life stopped. Her mother has been creating a network of families impacted by the fentanyl crisis, calling for change to local laws and access to life-saving measures like naloxone, known by the name brand Narcan. Everyone should have it in their backpack or their purse or in their pocket. Among the network of young victims is Abigail Saunderson. Today would have been her 17th birthday. Growing up, she was just this little ball of light. She died in September after taking what a dealer said was a standard pain pill for her chronic leg spasms. Instead, it was fentanyl. Her mother was unaware until the next morning and administered Narcan. I gave her the last two, the only two doses I had while I continued CPR until the EMTs got here. But she was just too far gone. These families say beyond reactive measures like Narcan, they're demanding proactive law changes to keep young lives safe. We're making forward progress. Two bills in the General Assembly aim to hold distributors accountable. Tuesday, a bill passed the Senate that would expand felony penalties to anyone making counterfeit pills. Another bill passed the Senate this month that would increase fines and penalties for those convicted of trafficking opioids and deaths from the distributed drugs. I believe that Anybody that sells a pill that kills anyone should be charged with death by distribution. Again, you murdered someone. And both bills have been sent over to the state house. Now, in 16-year-old Abigail's case, two men have been arrested and charged for death by distribution. Reporting in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right, Lillian, thank you.